of those old leads in his speech in an hour or so. We're told he'll try and answer the question, why Labour? What is the positive vision that Mr. Keir has to take into an election next year? We know that Sir Keir has talked a lot about rebuilding the country, both in a metaphorical sense and in a physical sense, with more homes. But just about starting to turn a corner from three years of rolling prices. Some reasons for some caveats over the assumption around growth next year being possible. subdued, uh, that is limping along, not sprinting after three years of geopolitical crisis, which looks like right now it's being Thank you very much, Faisal, for this Now, football's coming home, sort of, because the UK and the Republic of Ireland have been confirmed as hosts of the 2028 European Championship. It means the games will be played in England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales, as well as in the Republic of Ireland. The Prime Minister says the event will inspire a whole new generation now to our sports editor Dan Rowan and uh, a coup this by the UK and Absolutely, but it was also something of a formality as well because the this five nation bid, its only rival until last week was Turkey, but they withdrew from the process, choosing instead to focus on a joint bid with Italy for the 2032 tournament. That left the UK and Ireland unopposed. They still had to give a presentation here in UEFA's headquarters this morning on the shores of... The announcement came, and as expected, they were uh, indeed declared the hosts of the Euros in five years' time. It is a significant moment, this, because not since 1996, when England hosted the Euros, will the country have hosted something, a major tournament as big as this. People are saying it'll be the biggest sporting event that the UK has hosted along with Ireland uh, since London 2012 Olympics and a few minutes after that announcement I spoke